Good morning everybody, it's Monday the 23rd of October and we're here to do it all again. So today I am currently editing together last week's weekly vlog because I've got all the footage this time, I don't know what happened last time. Um, I'm going to do my admin for eBay, uh, get my listings live, then I'm going to go and tidy up the table downstairs so I can do some photographs, some camera related stuff. And then around half past ten I'm going to go down to my mum and dad's and I'm going to get his car tax registered, done for him online because he's hopeless in, with technology. He's in insurance and then we're going to go down and get his car. Then I'm going to come back, pack my orders. I had three sales over the weekend and, I mean it's not much but it's still sales. Then I am, you know, we pretty much have some lunch and go and get Jen. So that's the plan. Might not all be in that order but it will all happen at some point. So... I'm going to crack on with this editing. Now, with reading last week, I, I said it was something like six hours. Um, I did listen to um, an audiobook for a bit last night, for half an hour. I'm listening to The Little Shop of Found Things, which is a really good book. So I've downloaded this. I've got the sequel now, so I've got the sequel um, on Audible as well. So I'm going to keep listening to that a little bit. I like to listen and colour. So I, I was in bed last night and I was listening to that and I was just colouring for a little bit. It was really nice. So yeah, Jennifer's at school. So next week is half term. So we've got lots going on next week. Hopefully we'll be taking her out to Cardiff. We might go to Bristol with my dad if the weather's okay. Um, we will be decorating on camera some Christmas baubles and doing some colouring together. It'll be nice. You wait and see. It will. I'm going to crack on, get on with this so that I can get everything done before I go to my mum's. See you in a bit. Hey guys, so I'm up in the shed at the moment just packing my orders. I had to bring some stuff up, so I'm trying to sort out the living room and tidy it up. Um, so I've got to get everything sorted for Christmas because although it's still a way away, it's coming around rather rapidly. So I brought up, what did I bring up? One of the slide viewers. I photographed that, um, some rolls of film again, a job lot of four mobile phones that don't work but they're Nokia so they might sell for spares and repairs, to put on auction for a laugh, um, and two uh, packets of slides with a hundred in them which I'm gonna ship, I'm gonna list for £15 with free shipping um, and see what I get for them just to you know. Um, yeah so now at the moment I am packing my orders so I've had three I've got a camera and a top and a skirt to go off so as you can see the shed's a hell of a mess but there's just no space there's plenty of space I just got to get through the stuff that I got the auction last week which is these games which are well these trains which I will probably start looking at Wednesday a pal toy toy train I mean I haven't looked um, these are all slides, so I'm going to put these in, as many of these into a smaller bag as I can and take them down because I'm currently working on those. Because I can put them on a job lot of slides, so I can put on like multi-listings, put on a multi-listing of them. When I know how many packs I've got, or I can put it on as five packs if I've got five packs. Because uh, I know I'm running out of jiffy bags to put them in. And then I, what I can do is I can put... Um, when the next lot of jiffy bags come, which I've ordered, I'd put some more in. But I need them up the other end so I can go through them all and, I mean, just to have a look. So I'm going to get these packed and then after I've packed these, I'll put them in the car and I'm going to go down to Mum and Dad's and help him sort out his car. So let's crack on. So I've packed up my items and put them in this bag, which these cassettes were in. I've put those empty ones in there for now. I might sell some, I might keep them. It depends on whether I keep the slide viewer myself, uh, the projector. I might sell that. I haven't decided yet. I've also put in, as you can see, some of these. This is to just try and get rid of some more slides because I've got some down there, but I like to mix them a bit. I've got a box here that's got slides in it, but the box is knackered, so I'm going to have to get in there somehow. I just want the slides out. So I'm going to take that lot down now, and we're going to just leave that on the table, apart from the uh, packages because they've got to go in the car. And it's going to go down to Mum and Dad's now to try and sort out his car. It's all go today. So we've got Dad's car. It's all taxed. It's insured. We've been in it. It's very nice. Done my post. I'm going to go and get Jennifer now. I was going to go home and do some more work, but I ended up trying to help him sort this out. So we're just going to put the wing mirrors in now. Just have a look. See if it's an automatic wing mirror. I think it will be. But uh, let's have a look. Came up and look who's on the bed. Zed. Zed, you good girl. 
She loves sleeping on my bed. She's such a good girl. So it's bedtime. It's the end of Monday. I'm shattered. I've had a lovely shower. I'm all nice and clean. I did read for a bit earlier, but I haven't um, timed it because, well, Jennifer nicked my phone to play games. But it's okay. It's only about ten minutes. Anyway. It wasn't very long, so it's fine. So I am going to read a bit of Little Women tonight. And I would like to read a chapter of The Wizardry of Oz, which is great. I'm really enjoying this. Um, but we'll see how it goes. I'm going to curl up in bed and uh, read for a bit. I'll update you on how much I've read tomorrow. I'll be picking another one off my TBR jar tomorrow morning when I'm doing my um, account. So I will do it then. Show you then. So, yeah, um, weekly vlog's going to go up late because it's still editing because I've forgot all about it. So I'll sort it out tomorrow morning. Put it up, it's fine. Yeah, so I'm just gonna crack on and head off to bed and I'll take my meds and I'll do some reading. So I'll see you later. Good morning, it's Tuesday, 24th of October, and I am um, up and about. I'm really tired, I don't know why today. I am about to go through my wardrobe because I have got so many clothes I haven't worn in ages. And I got some really nice sweatshirts that I can get rid of, and I can list them on eBay and sell them, and make some get some money back from them. Basically, they're from when, uh, like in America. So I've got like a Yankees one. I've got some Universal Studio stuff. I have some old T-shirts that I don't wear that I've worn maybe once or twice when I was a lot slimmer. And they're just taking up space in my wardrobe, and I'd rather have the space so I can put stuff that actually fits in it. So I'm going to go through it all. Some of it will, some of it will probably just go in a bin. Um, but anything decent will go into a bag to be photographed later today because I'm running out of listings. I'm not, I've got loads of stuff I could do actually, but it's just uh, getting the energy to test it all. Anyway, I must be doing that later this week after I photographed this last lot of stuff from my wardrobe. So I'm going to crack on with that. Jennifer's in school, she's fine. Paul's working downstairs. I might do a, I'm going to my mum's later. So once I've done this, it's not going to take that long. I will probably film a colouring chat, so you'll probably have seen that by the time I've done this. I'll see you soon. Okay, so I have now sorted out my wardrobe, and the door's actually closed. I've pulled out a load of stuff of uh, vintage, well, some of it's vintage actually, well, one of it's vintage, um, some stuff that I bought that I'm never going to wear again, I will maybe once or twice, so it's in immaculate condition. I've got one item I need to wash, so that'll go in the wash later today, and but I'll take down and photograph in a bit. I'm not going to have time to do colouring chat today. Of course, you're not going to know this until next week anyway when I put this up. You will get to see it before the end of the week because I'll probably film it tomorrow. I've had one sale today, which is great. So it, it came in after 10 o'clock, so I don't have to worry about it until tomorrow. I will pack it up later when I get home from picking up Jen so we can go first thing in the morning because we've got parents' evening tomorrow. Oh, yes, we have. But that's good. Yeah, I've just had a, had a sale, which I'm happy with. It's not a huge sale, none of them are, really, but I, it makes me happy. There's a bit of money coming in. I'm going to have to up my shop soon because my listings are getting higher. Unfortunately, sales aren't as high as they should be, um, and it's just due to the cost of living, so... I'm either going to go through and reduce all the prices, I might put a sale on, or I can offer free shipping, but I can't do everything, so <laughs> I have to decide. I might put a sale, see if I can put a sale on tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to crack on, I'll go get this washing away, and I'll see you later. So I'm at my mum's um, to do some photos of some of my stuff. Like this rather nice Jedi Academy hoodie, which I bought in Disneyland years and years ago. I think it was Disneyland. Um, Dad can't get his car started today. So that's a good start, isn't it? It was fine yesterday. Today, no. It's just me. I'm going to get some of this done and then uh, go home. I come back and do some more tomorrow then. I'll do as much as I can today. And then first thing tomorrow morning, I'll get it measured, put away. And then I, I'll get it drafted as I go. Um, I don't know. I just feel a bit today so you know anyway I'm gonna crack on get some done and I'll see you in a bit. I have photographed 15 of the 21 items I brought down with me um that's enough for today I'll be down tomorrow to do the rest and I'll bring that fleece down that I've got in the wash which is the Universal Studio ones 
I've got a stack of stuff that my dad gave me men's trousers to do in a, a ladies dressing gown so I've put it all into a pile and I'm going to do it in that order <laughs> tomorrow just to try and get through it and then I might have to go sourcing afterwards but I've got good enough stuff to be going on with um, I'm going to go and get a cup of tea now and see if there's any lunch and if not I'll nip home for lunch before I get Jennifer but I don't mind either way so here's the bag of stuff I've done in the carry bag with the fleece I left down here ages ago. It's my fleece that I actually wear. And this is the stuff here. The bag of stuff i got to do. So yeah, I've done it. I've done a load. So it's not focusing for some reason. But hey, oh there we go. I'm going to go downstairs now to see what's going on with this car. We're back from school run, aren't we Jen? Mm -hmm. What's happening tomorrow? Um. Parents evening. And um, do you know what hoops I meet in? What hoops are you eating, Jen? Honey hoops. Honey hoops, yes. And what are we watching? Sherry Labrador. And what's he saying? What does he say? About crime? Um, there's no crime? There's no crime that I can't solve. Right, do it properly. There's no, there's no crime that I can't solve. Yeah, there's no crime that I can't solve. We love, we love Sheriff Labrador. So we're going to watch that now for a bit, aren't we? I like to woof it. Woof! And I like um, Cheryl Labrador talk. Yeah. So we're going to watch that for a bit now, aren't we, babe? Yeah. All right. The caterpillar one. Caterpillar one, yes, caterpillar one. It's like it bites you. It's toxic caterpillars that sting, make you itch, that's all. Yeah. That's yeah. really hot. It's a bit like sunshine with me. Anyway. Morning. It is Wednesday morning. Jennifer's in school and it's parents' evening today. Ooh, scary. Uh, so we've got to go down later to have a chat to the teacher. I'm sure it's fine. She's doing really well, I think. Paul's just gone out for a walk. I'm just having a cup of tea before I get started. This morning's plan is to put a few listings up, do some measuring and, um, you know, numbering them. And then I'm just going to go and put them in the, the shed. Because I've got an order to pack. I might not put them away in the shed, but they'll go in the shed ready. I'll put them away another time. And after that, I'll pack my order that I had one yesterday. I'm going to go down to my mum's and do a bit more photographing before I drop that parcel off and go to get Jennifer. And of course, we'll be back later for parents' evening. A lot to do today. I'm very, very tired. It's half term next week. I'm so excited because I get a week where I, I'll try and do a little bit of work. Um, um, I'm probably going to drop my listings to three just so I can eke it out over the week of next week um, so that I've got something to list every day yeah so I might do that see how it goes um, yeah, so I've got a good load of items to do it up, up at mum's but I'm really tired and I can't I just want to go back to bed but I'm thinking next week I don't have to get up early every day like I do normally I'm normally up at half past six wake at six up at half past something like that Depending, sometimes earlier. So we can have a nice cup of tea and peace before I have to start getting everybody ready for their work day or their school day. But with it being half term now, in England it's half term now. But when you see this, it'll be half term where I am, so... I can't wait. So, from Saturday onwards, I don't have to get up early. Yay! <laughs> I'm really tired. I'm looking forward to it. So I'm just going to make sure I've got enough items to list every day and I'm just going to do any packing and accounts and spend the time with Jennifer and we'll have a lovely week. Right, we've got some plans. We plan on going to Cardiff on the Monday. We might go to Bristol if the weather's not too bad with my dad. Um, we'll go to... probably go out to the park if it's nice. Then we've got things like the Christmas baubles and a load of colouring we can do and we'll try and make some videos for the channel as well. So I'm very excited. <sighs> I hope you can catch up with that. I'm sorry. I'm going to go and drink my tea and, and uh, get ready to start. I'll see you in a bit. Hey, everybody. It's me. I'm at my mum and dad's now to do some photographs. And I've had enough already. I haven't done anything yet. My dad is faffing about with this car. Yes, it wouldn't start. They said they're going to bring down your battery. That's fine. That's fine. Now he's decided he can't afford the car insurance, which, to be fair, it is very, very expensive. But I said when he was thinking about it, I said, Dad, you're, you're sure it's going to be horrendous? You haven't driven for five years and you're over 80. But he wouldn't listen. So he's lost, because of course he hasn't driven, he hasn't had any insurance. He's lost all his no claims bonus, which he's had for like 60 years. Um, so it was very, very expensive. So, 
he's now going to try and see if he can get a cheaper coat elsewhere because he's still got in the 14 day cooling off period so he can cancel the one he's got and what he might do then is if it's not much cheaper he'll go back and ask uh, how much it will be for just a uh, third party uh, fire and theft which is for, which, you, which is fine just to build up you know claims again I've just had enough of it all. Um, it's a really nice car. I'd like to have it, but I don't think I could drive it because that clutch is really dodgy. This thing feels really loose. I have to check it. So I'm sitting up here thinking, I really don't want to do anything, but I've got to because I've got some listings ready. I'm only going to be putting three live every week with what I've got. I've only got enough to get uh, every day. I've only got enough to get up to Tuesday. So I've got to get enough to get through the whole of next week and beginning in the following week. Um, I have got some stuff at home that I can list. I mean, I was going to do three, but I might have to knock it down to two listings a day till I could get till January was back to school. Because I don't want to do anything next week other than posting and putting what listings I've got live. I don't really want to do. I want to have the week off with Jen and have fun with her. I mean, if we go into town, yes, I might pop into a charity shop and have a look. Um, but it's hard work with just me and Jen because she gets bored, which is understandable. When it's three of us, it's not too bad. Um, there is the auction this weekend. I'm going to miss it because I have to pick it up and we're going to Cardiff on Monday. But that's okay because I'm looking forward to, I want to spend a week and have fun with Jen. So, and I have got stuff to sort out. It's not that I haven't got stuff to do. I've got a load of train sets to sort out. But again, that means bringing them up, checking all the pieces that they're putting them together, plugging them in and seeing if they work, if they're electric or whatever. I've got some board games. Again, I've got to pull them up, check all the pieces are there, clean them up photograph them, draft them, list them, etc. Something else I can be doing. I don't want to be doing that next week. So I want to be taking it easy and just doing what I have to do, the bare minimum, which is putting listings live and accounts so that they're up to date and postage. So I've got two to post today, a pair of shoes and um, a dungaree dress, pinnacle dress, which I have now post packed up there in the car ready to go. Um, might pop into the charity shop at some point. On the way back, just to see if there's anything interesting in there. Usually I just look at the books. I don't really want to buy a lot of books though. But I've got to buy at least four because they're like 25 pence each. Anyway, I better crack on. Five past one and I'm done. Everything has been photographed except for four pairs of trousers and a dressing gown that's got a mark on it. So I'm going to take those home with me and wash them. And then after the half term, as long as they're all clean, I'll bring them back down. And if they're not, they can just go in the bin. Because it doesn't really matter. I, I don't know how many I've done, but there's a lot. So I'll keep me going busy tomorrow when, I, when I'm when uh, i measuring and packing them all. But that's good. I'll get crack on with that later. So, yeah, I'm going to go down now and see about some lunch. It's just gone 20 to 3. I've just popped into the post office to drop off my two orders. That's all done. My back's killing me. My dad's keeping this insurance now. He says, I can afford it for this year, but next year might be a problem. I said, well, keep it for this year. and see what happens next year, because next year we'll have a year's no claim, so it'll go down. It just depends on how much. So fingers crossed. So I'm just waiting for Jen now. I popped into the charity shop to have a quick look at the books. And Paul was in there buying a T-shirt that he'd seen in his size, a super dry one. It's really nice. And um, I picked up four books, and because he had that, I said to get these for me will you? He said how much are they? I said 25p each. I tell you what though I buy more books than I read. I'm literally buying them faster than I'm reading them so I really need to crack on. So I'm just going to sit in the car now until it's time to get Jen. I'll take my fleece off because I'm hot and I am actually going to sit and read Little Women for a while. So I'm enjoying it so far. It's Thursday morning. Jennifer's at school. Paul's gone for a quick walk and I'm having my second cup of tea of the day. Last night obviously we had Jennifer's parents' evening went really well. They're really pleased with her. She's very well behaved. She's smiling all the time. She helps everybody. Her writing and reading's coming on brilliantly, as, as we know. So, yeah, it was all positive. Um, yeah, so very pleased. We were had fish and chips afterwards. Well, sausage and chips afterwards. And Paul had a fish cake um, on the way home. And we just had a nice evening then. Me and Jennifer did some colouring. And watching TV and she was so tired. She went up to bed, Paul was turned to read. We take in turns to read to her every night. And Paul was reading to her last night and he usually reads two or three chapters of um, whichever Roald Dahl book he's reading. I think it's Mr Fox, fantastic Mr Fox at the moment. But after the end of the second chapter she went, can I go to sleep now daddy? She was really, really tired. 
So bless her. So today's plan of action is to measure the stuff I photographed yesterday, or at least some of it. I don't have to do it all. Paul has got a meeting later, so. Then I'll go upstairs and start transposing all the information onto eBay, put some live list listings live. I have got one to pack. I sold it quite cheap. It's a dress from H&M. And I sold it to a cheap simply because it's one of the older stock that's been from when I first started doing it. So it's been around a while. So I'm quite happy to sell that off cheap just to get it, get rid of it. So and it's one going out. It's activity on the account. And that's the main thing, keeping the activity on the account going, even if I'm only listing two or three a day. So I'm hoping to be able to list three a day over the next week. Fingers crossed. Um, I am tired. I'm looking forward to having a week off with Jen because other than Monday when we're going to Cardiff we won't have to get up unless we want to. Early. I mean I get up at half past six every morning apart from the weekends and I won't have to do that all week which is fab. So I'm going to have my second cup of tea and crack on and I will see you later. Okay so I've measured everything I can. There's a few things I've had to put through the wash. I've got a couple of things soaking as well. Then we go through the wash again later, which is fine. I'm not worried about that. That happens. Um, so basically everything I photographed the day before yesterday I've drafted and it's ready to go live. Um, and the stuff I've done yesterday, I haven't yet. That's tomorrow's job. I've got to draft the pictures off my phone first. So I'm going to do that later. Probably while I'm waiting for Jen in the car. I can sit in the car and do it. So some of it's been done already, but not all of it. And I want to film a colouring chat today. So I'm just having a quick break in a bar of chocolate. I'm going to do a colouring chat, have some lunch, get my dad because he's still waiting on a new battery from the guys at the car place. So I said I'd drop him down and eat and have a look before I pick up Jen. And uh, it's all go. I had one sale yesterday. I packed it up. I told you all about that. I did read for a bit last night. I'm slowly getting through Little Women and as it goes on, I'm enjoying it more. But I am tired. <sighs> I am tired. I'm looking forward to next week. Next week's going to be so much fun. I just cannot wait. Anyway, I'll see you after I've uh, done this colouring chat. Home from school now. Jennifer's just hurt her finger. She's had two of these, don't want, well, one and a half of these. I'm having one now from Greg's. <laughs> Gross, that's horrible. <laughs> Anybody want one? Do you want one there? Mm. Take me off, take her off my hands. Give me a break. Mm. Anybody want a Jennifer? Yes. <laughs> say yes, say yes. Have you got a wobbly tooth? Mm, yeah. Can you show your fans? I'm behind it. It's in the middle. It's in the middle, where's the middle? It's not... She's got a wobbly tooth. Hey. She's very much looking forward to the tooth fairy coming. Hey. So I'm going to sit here and do some reading while she watches some TV. Hey. And um, I'm on a page 130. I of this found it. Open your gob wide. They can't see a thing. Still hey. can't see your teeth. There it is. Yeah, there it is. Little wobble. Oh, I can't <sighs> Did she bite your toe or is she licking your toe? Bite. I bet she's licking it, really. No, she got in it. Said no biting of toes. Lots of licks, please. Off she goes. <laughs> so I'm going to read a bit of Little Women while Jennifer, don't touch the camera with I your am, finger. I am not. I'm showing my finger today. Don't. So you're going to watch TV? Or are you going to go away and be a good girl and be quiet? Because mm. little girls should be seen and not heard. And hopefully I not seen either. I think I got lipstick on me. You haven't got lipstick on me. Your lip, you, it's very red. Can you get off me? You're actually throttling me now. I think my lip is getting... Anyway, I'm going to read my book. I will see you in a bit I let you know how I get on. Good morning, it's Friday. Hooray! That's the 20 something. 27th, I think. Of October, Halloween next week. I'm so tired. A week. It's been a busy week. Um, I've got drafting to do from my phone, so I'm going to sit in the bedroom. Paul's very busy today. So I'm going to let him in peace and only go down when I need a drink or a snack. I'll sit in the bedroom so I can watch TV because I'm just going to be drafting off my phone to start with. Then I'll go on uh, to the computer and do it all like that. It's a very boring part of the day so I thought I'd just put some colouring videos on and some vlogs and see what's happening. Uh, I'm going to try and finish the uh, Back to the Future picture because there's not a lot in there to do. Yesterday I got the new Christmas colour in heaven. Got a couple more issues and then that's it for that. I'll be buying them ad hoc in the supermarket. 
just because I've got so many and I mean I haven't coloured in the Halloween one I mean there's still time but I haven't there's some really cute simple ones in here I'd like to do with watercolours pencils so that'll be fun so yeah it's just a matter now I'm just going to crack on get this done it's Friday thank god I am so glad it's Friday I don't know what we're doing this weekend, probably not much, probably be taking it easy because obviously next week's um, half term, we've got a lot planned, Jennifer's, again she's flagging now, she's really tired, um, they've been working so hard at school and she's so happy, she loves it, she goes in every morning with a smile on her face and it makes me so happy, I'm sad because I miss her, I miss her during the day, especially now I'm home. So I'm really looking forward to next week. So we're going to read books together, we're going to colour, we're going to decorate baubles, we're going to go out, we're going to see Grandad, we're going to go to Cardiff. I'm going to try and do as much as I can with her, because um, the next time she's off will be Christmas, and oh, that's going to be manic. Like I said, we will be doing Vlogmas, um, right up till Christmas opening presents. So Christmas Day will be included, um, although it will be literally just bits and pieces, it won't be much. And then I'll take a break off to the following Monday and then start again. I'm not sure how Christmas falls this year. I haven't really looked, but it may only be a day. I'm not sure. Let's have a look to see when it is. Let me get my diary. I always have a big desk diary to write in. And I never write in it. I'm naughty. I always forget. Uh, 23 December. So what I might do is... Uh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. So Christmas Day is a Monday. So the last, so you'll have, the last Vlogmas Day will be Christmas Day. Very quick one. I'll take the rest of the week off and then we'll start again on January the 1st, which is Monday, January the 1st. Sounds good. That's a, that's a good plan. It gives me a week off of filming, a week to just uh, finish whatever colourings I want to finish before the end of the year. And then we can start again. Um, we'll see what we do. I mean, I don't know. I'll, I'll see if you want... <sighs> an updated colouring pages video of all my coloured pages I don't know it's up to you and that means uh, pulling down lots of folders as well because I've got lots of pdfs but I'm happy to do it if that's what you want I mean I don't know it's up to you um I make videos I enjoy making any of the videos but I make what you want to see so if you want to see um all my colouring pages I've ever coloured we can certainly do that I'm gonna crack on and I'll see you later it's a bit chilly so I've put my dressing gown on I've just I've done all the basic drafts that are all done, so they're all on eBay. I've just got to put the details in. I've got the book here. I'm going to have a little break because I've got to be honest, I'm really tired. It's really boring and I don't want to do it. Um, as long as I've got stuff to lift for next week, which I will, I can make sure that I crack on next week with it. I've done my listings for today. Um, I don't normally put listings up on Saturday, Sunday. Um, at the moment, I certainly won't, but when I get back into it properly, I will. And I'm just going to relax pretty much the rest of the day and do some colouring and watch some YouTube. Um, I want to finish my picture in Phantomorphia, which I'm not going to show you because I want you to wait until completed pages. I have finished two pictures today. One was the colouring chart that I've just put up from Back to the Future. And one was a, a Prachi Duan Such Diva one, a Halloween one. Um, so I'm going to have a quick snack because I'm really hungry. And yeah, watch a bit of YouTube and see what we do from there. Yeah. I always do. Paul's uh, out, and me and Jennifer are going to do some colouring, aren't we? In bed. Mm. Can you see yourself? Yeah. So yeah, I'm really, really tired. So we're going to colour, and she's going to pull faces. I watch telly. Don't stick your tongue out at the fans. They love you. They always say hello. My pretty girl. <laughs> you'll put up with this all next week when she's on holiday. Yes, you are piggy sometimes. So, are you happy? It's, Jen, are you happy it's half term? Yeah. Are you going to spend a whole week with mummy? <laughs> okay, that's enough. I need, oh hello, went dark then. Anyway, good morning, it's Saturday morning. What are we doing? Um, Where are we going? Where are we going? To the library. We're going to the library for the change, aren't we? I'm sure we'll be at the pub later. We'll go to the library, I'll show you what I can, but the council can be funny about you filming in their places. But uh, let's go and have a look.
love the library. I love the fact that Marilyn even makes it into a table on the library. This is a James Dean one as well, but I can't bother to show you that one. We're going to the park now. We got some books, haven't we? Yeah. Jennifer got four, I got one. Because yeah, it won't take her long to read those four. Hmm? Do you want to show the fans? We will later. Daddy's got them, okay? okay. Um, I only got one because it'll take me that long to read it because Jennifer's got only got four little ones. I shall read them really quick. And we'll come back down in the week, won't we? Yeah. On the blue sofa. Yeah. It's okay. So Lovely day now, so we're sitting in the park. And Jennifer's on the slide, probably getting stuck in the water. Wet up the wet bum. Oh, here she goes, climb up, up. Who used to do that when they were a kid, climb up the slide? We did. Our slides were a lot taller than that though. And there was only concrete beneath us. No such thing as health and safety back in the 80s, was it, Paul? No. It's not better now for kids. There she is. Okay. How much is it that way? Back home now. Jennifer's downstairs. I don't know what she's not doing, watching TV probably. Paul's phoning his mum. I'm going to do a bit of tidying up. Um, because I might as well. It was nice. We had a nice day out. I'm really tired though. So I'm going to crack on. Uh, I'm so sorry. I will see you in a bit. I'm just really tired. Hi everybody. It is so, so yeah, sorry the battery ran out. So yes, it's Sunday afternoon. I've done, we've done all the shopping. My skin on my forehead so dry. That's one of the things about getting old. Yeah. Uh, never used to have dry skin. Never used to have oily skin. Now it's very dry. Mostly here. And here, so I do put moisturiser on it, but yeah. Um, yeah, so woke up this morning to the news that uh, Matthew Perry had died at the age of 54. Very, very sad. Um, I absolutely adored him. I, 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 uh, I was actually so hoping he'd be able to find some happiness in his life. And while we don't know what happened yet, it's still very, very sad. And I feel for his, his friends and family. Um... Yeah, so I, I'm very upset about it actually. I've been sort of like in a daze all day. Um, yeah, very sad. Um, so what have we been doing today? Well, it's Sunday. We've done our shopping. We, we had a nice chill this chill this morning with a bit of colouring, a bit of reading. I wasn't reading. Jennifer was reading. Uh, and just uh, hanging out together. Did some shopping. Obviously, came back, put that away. Then I came up, put the washing away, put a load of washing in the machine. I've still got more to do. It's, it's not that late. Um, I charged up my camera. I found my Kindle Oasis. It was in a drawer, sensibly, somewhere safe. Um, it's dead, as you can see. It needs charging. So I am charging this battery up. Then I'm going to charge this battery up so I can use it because I love my Kindle Oasis. I used my normal Kindle. This is my old Kindle here, look. And I've got to be honest, I don't like it. I've, I've got to get a cover for this, so I'm, I'm uh, going to be applying for some jobs soon. There's one particular I'm applying for that's really interesting. I'll, if I get it, I'll let you know, but, you know. I'm still doing my eBay. I'm still going to do my eBay because I've been enjoying myself so much with it. Two sales. I've got one packed ready. I'm going to go and pack the other. Tomorrow, we're off to Cardiff, so this will be um, uploaded as quickly as I can. I'll probably try and edit it together tonight because the laptop's in my bedroom. But, Yeah. I'm really looking forward to going to Cardiff tomorrow with Jen because it's half term, yay! Um, but I need to get this camera charged up. I might take my Canon A1 if I can. So, yeah, take some shots. Yeah, have some fun. It's more about having fun with Jen, but... I found a gift card that Paul's mum gave me and I checked how much I've got on it. I've still got £7 on it and it's one I can use in Waterstones, so that's good. I am sitting in bed at the moment because I've just been doing updating my Amazon account with my new bank card because I've just got a new new bank card as you can see and uh, I needed to update payment options so that's done so everything's sorted there so I'd go in I am gonna try and finish where is it reading little women I am in the second volume now because obviously it was originally written as two separate books um so I'm in part two but there's still a chunk of it to go but I'm actually quite enjoying part two because you know Meg's got married now and it's really nice. Um, I haven't got to Beth's death yet, obviously. That, uh, see, whenever I've seen this, I always think of that scene in Friends with, between Joey and Rachel, 
where he's reading The Shining and she's reading Little Women and she finds The Shining in his freezer and he tells her that every time he gets scared he puts the book in the freezer and she's like oh Joey why is there a book in the freezer and, and so he gives her his book to her to read and she gives him Little Women and when Beth gets sick she's like do you want to put the book in the freezer and he's like oh that always reminds me of that now I'm feeling a bit sad because I, I gotta be honest, Matthew Perry was my favourite of them all. I did, I, I, he was. It's just so a wonderful actor, a very funny, very kind man, apparently, from what I've heard. But that's from people now after he's seen it, he's after he's died. But people aren't kind when you're alive, but when you pass, they say all lovely things about you, don't they? But uh, I'm really, everybody's just absolutely gobsmacked and hit. Oh, it's hard. To, to deal with you know everybody feels a bit discombobulated I think by it I, I certainly do I just don't feel right so anyway I'm going to crack on with reading Little Women and charge this up so I can charge my Kindle Oasis up because then I can take it on the train and read because she'll probably want my phone so yeah anyway I'm off Sunday night and I'm off to bed um, I haven't mentioned Little Women but I have read a bit of it I'm going to read a bit more now we will be going to Cardiff Town tomorrow because the museum's closed on Mondays we're going to go to Roth Lake instead. They've got a lovely park there, a lovely playground, and what else? Um, the cafe is nice, and yeah, it's really nice. So we're going to go there instead. So it's supposed to be quite nice tomorrow. Um, it also, I guess it means I can finish my Zeiss uh, Icon video if I take that one with me, which would be nice. Get Paul to take some pictures of me taking some shots on it, and uh, we'll see what happens. Anyway, I'm. Uh, to bed. So that's the end of this week and yeah, have to see what we get up to, eh?